Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this little pineapple. It's the Simfuego Twins! Okay, for this tutorial you're going to need yellow yarn, green yarn, a darning needle, stitch marker, but this is optional, a 3mm crochet hook or whatever hook you want, just go to the suggested hook size and then go one hook lower, black yarn or safety eyes, some stuffing, you can use yarn scraps or an old pillow or you can buy some polyfills, and some scissors to cut your yarn. So with all those supplies, let's make this pineapple. We're going to be starting with our green yarn or whatever color you want for your leaves. And we're going to do a slip knot and then chain four. Then we're going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. Then you're going to chain four. Then you're going to slip stitch from the second chain to the hook. Slip stitch down. So you slip stitch all the way down and we're just going to go into that chain right there. Right there. So there's going to be this chain because there's some chains that we went into. So you're just going to go back into those chains. This, might, this part might be a little bit tr tricky. <laughs> and then yarn over, pull through and slip stitch. And then we're just going to chain four again, slip stitch all the way down and repeat that five more times. After you crochet that, then you should fasten off and then you have your leaf. But we're going to make one more leaf, but it's going to be slightly different. And instead, we're going to do it only three times. So we're just going to make a slip knot, chain three, go to to the second chain from the hook and slip stitch into there, chain four, and then slip stitch from the second chain from the hook, and then slip stitch all the way down, and then chain four again, slip stitch into the chain, and then chain four, and then slip stitch all the way down. You have your leaf. So then you're just going to slip stitch into the next one, the next chain, or like the next whatever, just Gonna slip stitch somewhere. Gonna cut my yarn. Maybe leave kind of a long end for sewing. Gonna chain one and fasten off. And then you're just gonna take your um, leaves and then take the three one that we just made and sew it on top of that. So I'll meet you when I've done that. So I've just sewn these two pieces together and now we're gonna be starting the pineapple. Okay, so. First of all, we're going to be starting with our yellow yarn and we're going to be first making a magic circle, a magic ring, or a magic loop or chain to magic. And we're going to be doing six single crochet into the magic circle. And we're going to be working in the round. So we're just going to go straight to the point and we're going to go into this next stitch and do and then crease all around. So, so we just single. So I've just single crocheted into that first stitch, and then I'm gonna put my stitch marker into the stitch right next to it, the V. And then I'm gonna go back into that same stitch and do a single crochet. Even though you have your stitch marker, you should still remember to count your stitches just in case you've missed one. Just because you're relying on your stitch marker doesn't mean that you should count. Does doesn't mean that you shouldn't count your stitches because that's not good. So I've just increased all around and you should count your stitches just in case. And if you have too many stitches, then just do an invisible decrease. Or if you have two less stitches, then just do an increase. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 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 ten. Thirteen. I have one too many, so I'm just gonna take one of them out like that because this is an increase. And then I'm going go I'm going to go into the next stitch with I put my stitch marker in and just do a single crochet. And then I'm going to put my stitch marker back in to that stitch. And I'm going to do a single crochet increase all around. So now I have just done increases all around. Now I'm going to take my stitch marker out and do a single crochet all around for six rounds. And then you can see that we're getting some like curve. So then you're just going to do that five more times. And I'll get back to you when I've done that. 
If you're going to be adding safety eyes, add them at the start of round five. I've just finished crocheting all of my rounds. So we've done six rounds of single crochet and we should still have 18 single crochet all around. So I just put single crochet into the next stitch and put my stitch marker in. So we're going to be doing single crochet decrease. So we're going to be doing a single crochet and an invisible decrease. So to do an invisible decrease, we're just going to go into these front two loops and these two loops. Yarn over, pull through, just through those middle ones. And then we'll have two loops on the hook, yarn over, and pull through. So we're just going to do that all around. So I just finished my round of single crochet decreasing. So now I'm going to just pull this loop, put my stitch marker in that. And I'm going to pull that. And now I'm going to stuff it. You can use whatever you want to stuff it. You can even use like old socks or old t-shirts. doesn't really matter. Just going to stuff my work now. I've just finished stuffing my pineapple. So now I'm going to pull this open and then put it back in. We're going to do a decreases all around. So just go into those front loops. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through all. And then you're going to take your stitch marker and put it right next to that stitch. Or that stitch we just did. That and we're going to do five more decreases all around. And I'll meet you back once I've done that. Once I've done single, um, once I'm done decreasing all around, I'm gonna slip stitch into my next stitch, chain one, pull my loop a little bit, cut some yarn for just, we're not gonna need much yarn because we're just gonna be closing this end, so just enough yarn. So then we're going to sew this, like, um, Sew the bottom off. So you put it on your needle and just sew it. So usually I just go like a decrease. I go into these two loops and then I pull and then I keep doing that all around until it's kind of like seamed up. So now it's kind of like seamed up. So now I'm just going to poke it in the middle so then it doesn't poke out as much. Just gonna poke out anywhere pull it but not too tight because we don't want this bottom to be really really flat and then you're just gonna cut and then mush it around so then it's lost and, and then you have your little pineapple like base then you're going to attach the leaves now but you're gonna want to do it either on the top of here or the bottom of here if you want to cover up the bottom of it, then you can use that to cover up the bottom. Or you can just cover up the top and just have this bottom on there. I'm going to be attaching this onto the bottom. So then it's going to cover up all that. And then I'll have this at the bottom so it'll look much cleaner. And I'll get back to you when I've done that. And how you're going to do this is that you don't want to sew it how the leaves are going to be. So you don't want to sew like the leaves onto this. You're going to just want to sew on this middle part. So then it's going to be attached to your pineapple base. So I'll get back to you when I've done that. Now we're going to be attaching the eyes. So you're just going to want to get a needle, like a darning needle with the dull end. So, and then you're going to get some black yarn. You're going to use safety eyes, or you can also use black yarn as your eyes. I'm going to be doing that. You're going to need some scissors, and you're going to need your pineapple. So let's get started. Okay, so first you're going to snip some black yarn for your smile, and just put it on your needle. And then pick whichever side you want the front to be. I want hmm, maybe this spot. And then I'm going to just go from like the back or like wherever. And then I'm going to poke where I want my, where I want it to be. I'm going to have it at, at starting at round five. I'm just going to pull that out. Make sure that this goes in, but don't pull it too much. Otherwise it's just going to come right out. And then, um, then you count one, two. So you're going to count one little single crochet in the middle. And then go there and then 
you go down so you have this line so then you're going to go down here so basically what we're doing is that we're making a line but then we're going to come out in between this line in the middle but below it so we're going to just make that line so you've made a line which is going to be just like that and then you're going to make since you're going inserting it here we're going to go down like this to make it go to the middle in between this line like that so then if you go in the middle it makes a t so then we're just going to take our needle and go under we're going to go under the yarn so we're making a t then we're just going to go over into the same spot that we came out of and then i'm going to make my eyes but if you don't want to do um black yarn as your eyes and you can use safety eyes and just go to the back and then just nip off the yarn but i'm going to be making eyes so i'm just going to go count one stitch away and then go out from there so then you get a smile now i'm just gonna go one single crochet below and then go back up into the same spot I went into from the smile and then just pull that so now I've made a line but I don't want it to be just this line I want to make it thicker so it's kind of like more circular so I go back in and then go back up so basically we're just going over this repeatedly so then we have like a nice eye shape kind of so then you're just going to keep on doing that until you like the thickness of the eye then when you're done and you like the thickness then you're going to go down one more time but then you're going to go one stitch away onto the other side so this is like right next to the to the smile so i'm going to go one stitch away and then I'm just going to to make the eye the same way I did with this eye. Then when you're done, just go back in. And then we're going to fasten this off or like we're going to stop sewing this on. So now we're just going to push this to the back. And then you can just cut that off. And then just pinch around that area until the yarn is gone. And then you have to do a little pineapple. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we make a new video. Okay, guys. Thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Bye. Bye.